Well, the weather did hold up for most of the holiday weekend. We often say this is the first weekend of summer, though it is the unofficial beginning. If you need evidence that we are truly in the summer season, just look at Virginia Beach. And then your size, Kayla Gaskin spent the day there, and you found it busy on all levels. That's right, and I will say that the crowds have died down just a little bit here at Virginia Beach. May have to do with the rain and the holiday season winding down, but there are still people out there on the beach enjoying what is left of this holiday weekend. And, and you know, there were surfers out here earlier. I don't see any of them yet, but those families still down there, still on the beach. And again, if you if you can't tell from the shot, it is still raining out here. Now, Saturday and Sunday, those were beautiful days. The people we spoke to said the crowds were a little thinner as many people headed back home today. There were still quite a few families on the boardwalk and on the sand. And then there were those afternoon showers, and we did see the beach clear around around midday. But as you can see, those people have headed back out here. We asked some beachgoers what kind of effect this rain would have on the rest of their holiday. Nothing, because we're already going to get wet. So <laughs> if it uh, rains, then we'll just go into the hotel and wait for uh, the weather to clear and then come back out and finish enjoying our weekend. And it was a busy day on all counts, including those lifeguards. They told us that from Friday till today, they pulled 75 people out of the water. On Saturday alone, they pulled 61 people. And the chief who we spoke with of the lifeguards, he said it was basically a perfect storm of the wind and the current and a lot of people getting into the water. Now, this rain may have put a damper on some people's beach plans, but did it put a damper on business? We'll have that report coming up at 6. For now, at the oceanfront, Kayla Gaskins, Town on Your Side. Kayla, thank you very much. We'll talk to you at 6 o'clock. And many boats cruising local waters this weekend. And in Norfolk, a close call. Police dispatch tells us three boaters tied their craft to a channel marker on the Elizabeth River near ODU. But the boat broke free, leaving people stranded on the marker. First responders rescued everyone safely.